Welcome to the Curb Quick Start Installation Guide. Let's get started. First, we need to check the package contents. Make sure there is one sticker sheet, one quick start guide, one installation guide, one curb power hub, one home plug network adapter, one voltage wire connecting block, three CT clamp connecting blocks, one Cat5 Ethernet cable, three voltage connection wires, two large 100 amp CT clamps, four medium 50 amp CT clamps, and 12 small 30 amp CT clamps. You will also need to have a smartphone with internet access to complete this install. Next, label and record the circuit breaker panel details. If you're measuring one breaker panel, find the main breaker panel for the house, not a sub-panel. Label each breaker in the panel using the provided green number stickers. You can number the breakers any way you want, but we found it easier to manage later if you first number the left-hand breakers top to bottom, then the right-hand breakers top to bottom. Check with the manual if you need to measure circuits for more than one breaker panel. Now find the home's internet router and plug the home plug network adapter directly into a nearby wall outlet. Remember that power strips with surge suppression, GFI outlets, and GFI circuit breakers may cause home plug network adapter to fail. Connect the ethernet cable between the home plug adapter and an available LAN port on the home router. If there isn't an available port, you might need to use an ethernet switch. Identify which circuit breaker within the panel controls the outlet with the home plug and confirm that the home plug lights go dark when flipping the breaker off. Please make sure the homeowner has first saved their files and shut down their computers. Now we need to identify and record all circuit breaker phases. First, let's label the breaker that will power the curb hub with a red curb sticker. This should be the same circuit as the home plug. Label all breakers and the main that matches phase with the home plug breaker with an A sticker, regardless of whether those breakers are what would normally be considered phase A. Then, label all the other breakers with a B sticker. Label all the A phase breakers and the A phase main with red A stickers, and label the B phase breakers and main with orange B stickers. On your smartphone, go to connect.energycurb.com. Enter the curb serial number and click the Add Panel button. Then fill out the page by entering the breaker number, amps, phase, and name as it appears on the existing panel schedule. Now we're ready to connect and power up curb. Find the curb voltage connector and switch off the main breakers. Connect the white neutral wire from the neutral rail to the white end port. Next, we need to T-connect the red power wire from the red curb breaker to the red A port and T-connect the orange power wire from any orange B breaker to the orange B port. Connect the wired curb voltage connector to curb and then switch on the main breaker. Grab your phone and navigate back to the installation's main view, and then tap the curb hub's name or serial number. Look for the connectivity indicator dots to light up green. Make sure you give it a few minutes for the router to make the connection. If you see three or more green dots, your connection is good. One or two amber dots means the hub has a weak connection, and of course red means there is no connection. Verify the home plug network adapter is plugged into the same circuit as the curb and verify that the connection to the curb is good. Name the curb hub and specify if the panel is a primary or secondary breaker panel. Find the connector with the red A through F label labeled as block 1 and wire one of the two 100 amp CT clamps to its A port. Attach the clamp to the main labeled with an A sticker and ensure that the clamp is securely closed. Using your smartphone, register A as a main and choose the 100 amp CT size. You should see a live wattage readout on screen. If it's negative, tap the plus minus toggle. If the home has solar, check the manual. 
Repeat these steps for wiring the B main and follow the instructions in the manual for wiring the remainder of the CT clamps. The breakers you labeled earlier will show up as selectable options for each new CT clamp you add to the web application. There's a handy guide to prioritizing appliances and circuits at the back. Remember to check your work. Double check each clamp for secure closure and make sure each wire has a secure connection to curb. Also, confirm that each clamped circuit is documented correctly on the curb website. Now let's mount the unit. Secure curb into the panel by mounting it to the back or inside wall of the panel with tape, Velcro, or any other fastener that meets code for the region where curb is being installed. Make sure to take a well-lit, high-resolution photo of the open panel and email it to installer at energycurb.com with the serial number and customer name as the subject line. Lastly, make it look like something you can take pride in. Add the curb sticker to the panel cover, then send another high-resolution photo of the closed panel with circuits and existing panel schedule. After configuring all panels and hubs, tap back to the installation page. Select Send Customer Email and enter the customer info. Make sure the customer receives the welcome email and tell them to create a new account to begin using Curb. That's it. Thanks for helping another homeowner power their life smarter.